G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a way of working out percentages of an amount mentally, okay? So, anyway, without much further ado, I'll give you an example. So, I'll give you five seconds to answer this one. Can you do 12% of 80? Okay, I reckon your time's up. Hopefully you got the answer of 9.6. If not, I'm going to show you a really, really great little method of uh, working these out, okay, in your head. So, I'll show you the way this works, and this works around the idea, first off, of what percent is. Now, percent, I think it's really important that we get a, an idea of this. Percent means, quite literally, out of, per, like, uh, divided by, and cent means a hundred, like a hundred cents in a dollar, or a hundred years in a century. Okay, so... Percent, we're talking about a number out of 100. So this 12 is literally 12 out of 100. Okay, so 12 out of 100 parts for 80. Okay, so we're going to be using this idea to work out our percentages of a number. And there's a couple of key percentages we're going to be looking at. First off, we're going to be looking at a 100%. We're going to be looking at 50% of the number. We're going to look at 10% of the number. We're going to look at 5% of a number and 1% of a number. And if you can pretty much starting automatically start to work these out for a number, and they're not too bad, you can work out percentages that are more complex. So, a way of working out 100%, 100% of a number, 100 parts out of 100 of a number is the number itself. So, 100% of, say, 80 is 80, 100% of 64 is 64, 100% of 27 is 27, so 100% is the number itself. So that's a nice easy one to start off with. 50%, 50 parts out of 100, is a half of the number, okay, so half of 80 is 40, okay. So we're working at 50% of 70, it would be half of 70, 35, okay. 10% of a number is literally 10 parts out of 100. Now, the way we can work this out very easily is dividing by 10. And the way we can do this really, really easy is we start with a decimal place, which is here, and it's not shown, and we move it to the left one time. So 80 becomes 8. If it was 50, we'd move the decimal place back or divide by 10, and we would get 5. 5%, 5 this is probably one of the trickier ones, but it's not too bad. It's you can either think of it a couple of ways. What I typically think about is it's, it's this 50% number divided by 10, so we could get this decimal place and move it back and it would become 4. Another way you might think about it is, yeah, where you're just uh, you're moving this decimal place back 1 and then halving it, so it's going back to, you know, to become 8 and then you're halving it, it becomes 4. So it's moving the decimal place back 1 time and halving it. All right. And then we have 1%. Now 1% is one part out of a hundred. And to do this we divide by a hundred. We move the decimal place back not once, but two times. So we go back one, two times. So one percent here is 0.8. Okay, one percent of 70 is 0.7. One percent of 120, we move it back twice, so we have 120, would be 1.2. You okay with that? So the way that we use this to work out this particular number is as follows. So 12% we could think of as being 1 times 10% and 2 of these 1%. Okay? And we could really, really easily keep this in our head. 2 times 1% or 2 times 0.8 is 1.6. So we can keep this 1.6 in our head and we can add it to this 10% here. So 1.6 plus 8 and it gives us our answer, 9.6. Okay? We don't we won't have to write things obviously out like this all the time. This is just showing you how you mentally start working them out. So, what about you give the next one a go? I recommend at the start you do write them out possibly uh you know, just to just to get it through your your head a bit. And then what we'll do is we'll you start trying to work it out mentally. Okay? So what about we do another one? What about we do uh, 51% of 70. Can you work that out? Pause the video and then come back, okay? So, 
Hopefully you've paused it, hopefully you've worked it out. So hopefully you also got the answer of 35.7. Alright now, let's work out how we got this answer. So we have a 50% part, which is a halfway, which is 35, and a 1% part, which we move the decimal place back from here, one, two times, so the 0.7. We add these together, we get 35.7. Yeah? I reckon you could do that in your head. So, what about I give you another one? Uh, what about we do this one here? Uh, we do 98% of 680. So, pause the video, try to work it out mentally this time, and then work it out on paper, and see how you go. So, did you get the following? Did you get this? This is quite a difficult one. Did you get the answer? 666.4. Okay, so this way, is it, this is probably the easiest way here. You start with 100%, and you've got 2 times 1% that we're getting rid of. So we have 100%. And we're going to get rid of these 2 times 1%. So 100% of 680 is 680. 1% is going to be, so we move the decimal place back, 1, 2, so 6.8. Two of these are going to be twice as much, so 2 times 6.8, yeah? So that's going to be 13.6. And we're going to take that away, so 13.6 uh, sorry, 680 take away 13.6 gives us our answer here, 666.4. Okay, I'll, what I'll do is I'll give you a whole bunch of these. I'll give you, um, what about we give you three of them to work out? Then what I'd recommend you do, try to work them out in your head. Try to work them out on a bit of paper using that way. See how you go. Alright, then we'll go through the answers. So, what about this one? We'll give you 21%. 60. I'll give you this one, 42% of 45. And what about this one, 56% of 440. Okay, pause the video, give them a go. Okay, so how did you go? Let's go through the answers here. So this 21%, you might be thinking this uh, uh, in a couple of ways, but what you're probably going to be looking at with this, okay, you're probably going to be looking at it two 10%, as well as uh, one, a 1%, just 1%. So the way we have that is two 10%, is going to be, we move the decimal place back one, so six, so two of those is going to be 12, so 12, keep that in your head, I'll put that there, and then we're going to have the decimal place going back twice to get this 1%, so 1, 2, it's going to be 0.6, so 12 plus 0 0.6 is 12.6. If you got that, you got the right answer. Hopefully you did. Okay, what about we do the next one, and we get 42% uh, of 45. So, this is a bit of a harder one. The way I'd be looking at this one, I'd be thinking, 42%, I'd be thinking, well, we have uh, 10%, and I'd actually think there's four of these, okay, so four of these, and 1%, we have two of them, okay, so the way I'd be doing this now, and I'll, I'll show you my working out how I'll, I'll do it, but this is not too bad to try and remember mentally, okay, so uh, we're going to start with 10% of this, it's just going to be decimal place will move to here. Okay, so we have four of those, so 4 times 4.5, double it and double it again, we get 918. And then 1%, okay, the 1%, the decimal place is going to, oh, didn't mean to get rid of that, put that back there. 1%, we're going to move this decimal place back twice, so 1, 2. And we have two of those. So 0 0.45 times 2 is 0.9. So we're going to add that on. We get, we go to that colour, 
be at point 9. 18.9 is our answer. Okay. Let's do the very, very last one. Hopefully you got this one right. Hopefully you're going really, really good with them. Okay. Let's see. So, 56% of 440. I think this is probably the hardest one so far. So, the way that I'd be looking at this one is we have a 50%, just one. We have a 5%, which is going to be nice and easy to work out because it's going to be a tenth of this 50% here. We're going to have a 1%, okay, adding up the 56% here. So, 50% of this is half, so 220. 5%, we're moving the decimal place on this one back one, so 22. And 1%, we're moving the decimal place here back twice. One, two, so 4.4. We add all these together, so 220 plus 22 plus 4.4, and hopefully the answer you get is 246.4. Okay, and that's a really, really great little method to uh, work these out mentally in your head. So I recommend you, you, you write yourself up some, you try to work them out, and you might even get a calculator or what you, whichever to check your answers, okay? That's not a bad idea when you're first starting to do these, but hopefully that, that method helps you out a little bit. Anyway, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.